In the news today, Duran Ventures, that's DRV on the Venture Exchange, intercepts 125.8 meters, averaging 0.44% copper equivalent at Duran's Panteria Copper Gold Project in Peru. That's the one that First Quantum is working on. I've got with me the president and CEO, Jeff Reeder, and uh, he's going to break down the news for me here. So, Jeff, I appreciate you taking some time. Uh, why don't you kind of go through the, the, the particulars of the release here and, uh, and lay out to the public if they don't quite get everything here. Okay, well, uh, First Quantum, I mean, this is a, a multi-billion dollar company, and they're looking for elephants. Um, they're not looking for the small stuff. And, and they, um, their first six holes, I mean, we all, they hit poor for copper mineralization. Um, as, as you said earlier, um, one of the intersections was 125 meters of 0.4% uh, copper equivalent, which is it's a, gold, it's a copper gold system. Um, what normally these systems are is that um, um, when you have the gold in there, they're a bit smaller than the copper porphyry without the gold, but um, but they're better grades. So the the news release that we issued today showed um, that we intersected mineralization over 1,300 meters in the subsurface horizontally and over 770 meters vertically in one of the holes that we drilled ended in, in copper mineralization as well. What's important to note about this is that it intersected the halo, the peripheral pyritic um, silic halo that's always associated with porphyry systems. And, and hole six that was drilled in between, basically in between of, you know, in the middle of this system that we drilled, intersected the 128 meters of the 0.44 copper equivalent, which is uh, 0.25 copper uh percent copper about 0.25 grams of gold which shows that this is a copper gold system and most importantly that we did not intersect the core of the system yet so we know that it's in this area that's it's widespread so this year first quantum is coming back there uh once the rain subside which is probably within a month that they're going to start drilling and 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 they and ourselves have looked at the data and we have a feeling that we're vectoring in on the copper gold courses. And if we intersect that, uh, it will be much higher grade because of the peripheral mineralization is typical 0.2 copper, 0.25 copper equivalent. That is very, very typical of these large porphyry systems. So, so Rob, what we think that um, these core, these systems normally in the size of, of a, of a, core system between 500 meters by 500 meters. So, you know, we, we've drilled a large system here. Now we have to find that core system, which is going to be the higher grades and more drilling is going to do it. And the nice thing about this is that Durand is not putting any of its money in. It's got a partner looking for elephant size uh, gold copper system. So we're quite excited about this and they are too. So let's dig in a little deeper here to this first quantum deal. I want you to lay out kind of the, the plan of attack here and why it's important to have a, a big guy like this uh, uh, hunting for elephants here. Well, yeah, and basically what it comes down to is like, uh, you know, um, when you look at a, a junior company drilling these big porphyry systems, what happens is that, you know, you've you got to spend millions and millions and millions of dollars to figure out how big these systems are, look for the system, because all the easy porphyry systems are found now. So porphyry systems are going to be conceptual and buried. So to, to go in and diamond drill and do very good geology, they're, going to be, they're probably going to be drilling uh, quite a bit of drilling this year on this stuff. They spent $2 million last year, and you know, their budget is going to be much more. I can't, I'm not sure what their budget is going to be this year, but they're going to be doing much more work this year. So, you know, when you look at a junior holding a porphyry system and having somebody else drill it, you know, it, it would cause us massive dilution in our stock to basically go out and explore for a property like this. But allowing them to do all the work and then we can get carried for 20%. And 20% of a very, very large system is very good for us because what we're going to do, Rob, is we're going to take, we're going to let them do all the work it's going to take a lot of time for them to continue drilling. They're going to be doing several campaigns. They've done great work with the community. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on our business model of high-grade 
gold and copper and silver and polymetallic systems in northern Peru, which is very, it's, which is a lot better for a junior our size to focus on high grade and let the majors focus on the big low grade things that are going to cost tens of millions of dollars to drill. Before I let you go here, Jeff, what do you think is important that the market understands about Duran and, and how it's conducting its uh, joint ventures here? Yeah, well, we think. You know, what we think, though, we think, Rob, that, you know, this is a game plan that I think that it's, it's going to show the market that we're, you know, we've been, we can create projects, we can do this stuff, but we're also very good at creating the smaller projects as well. And, and the smaller projects are the ones going to be the higher margin ones and less capital intensive to explore and develop. Okay, there you have it. Duran Ventures, DRV on the Venture Exchange. Jeff Reeder, President and CEO. Thanks for the time, Jeff. Appreciate you taking it. Okay, thank you very much, Rob.